Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here again from Scratch, and today we've got a good test of the expression better late than never, because quite frankly, I'm pretty late reporting this one, but hey, better late than never. And what we're talking about today is Game Guru, and for this weekend only, this Labor Day weekend, and hopefully you're having a good one, and hopefully you caught this video in time, because you have about, say, 14 hours left to pick up this deal for free, and this deal is on a product called Game Guru. Now, I've actually covered this one in the past. It's from the game creators, the same people that make uh, App Game Kit, and the entire idea behind Game Guru is it's a really easy to use 3D game engine. There's a ton of pre-made content for you to work with, and as you can see, it's been on Steam since 2015, and the reviews are all time mostly positive. Now, you got to know what you're getting here. You are not getting uh, the next Unreal Engine or even Unity or Godot. This is a 3D game engine. Um, more on the line of, say, Copper Cube, probably even a little bit more basic than Copper Cube, but also it's easy to get going with, and there is a huge amount of content available in various different uh, DLC formats, etc. So obviously that is part of what they want to do here, is they want you buying the DLC uh, with the Game Engine for free. And to be honest, I kind of feel like the Game Engine should be free at this point. They've also got a new version coming out very soon, and we will get to that in just a few minutes. But right now, it is 4.37 Eastern Time, um, and it's on Sunday, and right now you have until September the 7th. Right now being September the 6th, uh, so you have basically until tomorrow at 1 p.m. You have about 16 hours left, assuming this video goes up reasonably quickly, to get this one completely free. Just basically go into Steam, add it to your cart, you're good to go. Now let's do a quick hands-on with Game Guru. Now I'm not going to go into a ton of depth with this one, because quite frankly I've actually covered Game Guru in the past, so if you want to learn more, I will link that video down below as well, or at least in the linked article down below. But here you can see Game Guru. It's a very straightforward um, game engine. You can see here we're in the uh, editor environment. You can use this to place various things like you. So here you got 3D animated model support. Uh, we've got these waypoints or triggers in the world. We can navigate around. You have enemies in place. Uh, let's keep going around this little map. This is the fantasy map. I got all this stuff in uh, some kind of a, a bundle in the past. Might have been a humble bundle or something to that effect. So I actually have a ton of game creator or game guru stuff on my machine. This download was actually 18 gigabytes in size just due to all of the DLC and packs and such I have for it. But you can see kind of an object placed in the world. The zombie that featured into my screenshot to start this thing. And yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. What you do is you place things in the world. Uh, and then you add logic to them. So let's go and take a look at that zombie, for example. And he has, let's go in to make sure we're in the proper mode. So we're in entity mode. I'm going to select my entity. And you see here we can scale, rotate, whatever. But what I want to do is go to properties. And then it does some really weird things on the right here. Not really sure what's going on here. But over here you can see kind of the details behind it. And this gives you a little bit of insight. You've got things like... Uh, statistics, so speed, strength, so on. Does it have physics? If so, what does it weigh? Does it explode? If it explodes, how much damage does it explode for? Does it have any sounds attached to it? So you can see this one has Audio Bank, Fantasy, Evil Priest, Wave. Now those are all basically provided for us as part of the DLC packs, but you can bring in your own stuff. You can also go ahead and import your own 3D models if that is your choice. While we are in this editor, we are locked out of everything else, as you can see by this grayed out toolbar. Uh, but the other thing you'll notice while we are here is your game logic. The the main programming language for game objects here is Lua. Lua is a pretty straightforward scripting language you can learn pretty easily. So I'm going to leave it out of that. So that is how you populate things in your world. You've also got a bunch of pre-mades over here. So we got the builder stuff, you know, so you can do walls and floors and stairs and stuff, block out worlds. We can put markers in our world, things like checkpoints, lights, triggers, and so on that your things respond to. And we have some pre-book stuff like this area will hurt you, this area will heal you, and so on. So you really just basically start just dropping these things into the world as it makes sense. And then finally, we have entities. Entities are basically 3D objects that you can drop in. So there you can see our priest. So if we wanted to create a new priest, we could drop a new priest into the world. You'll notice it's automatically snapping to the ground, which is nice to see. And let's just add in a wizard, if we can. All right, there we go. So there is our wizard and a couple of priests. And again, each one of these you can go ahead and change the properties on uh, on an individual level as well. So that is the, the gist of placing entities in your world, markers, and so on. We also can, let's fly away, come fly away. All right, so here we are. You'll notice our train. Let's go over here where it's kind of empty, and we're going to switch over here into terrain mode. So right there, we were in entity mode. There's also marker mode, obviously, for placing markers, but what we want here is terrain mode. And then we've opened up, we've got 
a number of tools here so we can shape levels uh, and so on. Uh, but what I'm just going to do is just basic shaping. So as you can see, you've got a basic world editing tool available right here. And then you've got things in here. You can come in and paint uh, textures. So if we have a texture to paint, so let's go ahead and paint uh, that, that one looking right there. And we can now paint that into our world. So as you see, you've got basic and simple world editing tools all cooked in here. Uh, we can also go ahead and paint some grass into our world if we so wish, and so on. And then you can go ahead, you can test your game using this icon over here. You've got built-in multiplayer support. You can change out your waypoints so you can have your artificial intelligence of your enemies, etc., following waypoints. And that's kind of the gist of it. This particular group of entities. Obviously, you can go to the store and get a ton more content. And if we head on back over to Steam, oh, that's the wrong one, Steam in my browser, you will find there are a ton of uh, different DLC content packs out there. Of course, head on back over here. Here, uh, I could actually go ahead now that this isn't grayed out. We can import our own 3D models in .x and .fbx formats. Most things are going to support FBX to a certain degree. So you can bring in your own 3D objects. And again, you can add your own logic to things using the Lua programming language. So this, in essence, is Game Guru. And as I mentioned, it is currently free. If you watch this video on Sunday or Monday before 1 p.m. Eastern time, you can pick it up completely free. Now, back again to a little bit of the reason why. First off, Obviously, they want you to buy some of their content packs. And yeah, yeah, there's a lot of content packs. By the way, this is the uh, the fantasy pack we were in. Uh, they do periodically, and by periodically, I mean quite often, go on sale. So if you want to pick up these packs, a lot of times when they have things like the um, Steam Summer Sale or whatever, they, they heavily discount this stuff up to, you know, well, here, what are we seeing? Well, we're seeing 100% off today. But these packs right now are 70% off as an example. And they have a total of $586 in Canadian worth of add-on packs. Now, you don't need those packs by any means, and you get some of them to start with. But if you want to start creating a game and you need... I don't know, the Mega Pack, which is just a bunch of generic stuff to start populating your world, you can pick it up. Then we've got some military packs and so on. So if you can fit stuff to fit the genre of your game, it is all here. Now, you're thinking to yourself, oh, couldn't this be used to make terrible asset flips? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course it could. Uh, I'm not sure that that's necessarily the negative. It should be, and I blame the storefronts for the asset flip problems more than the tools, personally. All right, so once again, Game Guru is not competing with Unreal Engine. It's not competing with Unity. It's not competing with Godot. It's not competing with CryEngine. It's not competing with Lumberyard. It is kind of its own thing. It is aimed at people that want to create games. They may not have any programming ability. They support you there. You've got all kinds of packs. You may not have any artistic ability. Hey, they've got all kinds of packs for that, too. But you're not going to create, again, super advanced um, complex games at all. But if you've always wanted to check it out, uh, right now, being the next about 16 hours, is a great time because, again, the base thing is entirely free. And again, I think that ultimately they should just make it free and live off of content packs. But again, one of the reasons why this is being highlighted is there is a new version of this coming. It is um, in pre-order now. Uh, this is powered by the... Oh, it's not coming to me right now. The Wicked Engine. I knew I knew what it was. I've actually covered it on this channel if you're interested. It is an open source cross-platform C++ renderer, I guess we could call it. I do have a video on the topic, so if you want to check out uh, the Wicked Engine, you can do so. Uh, but ultimately, the new version of Game Guru Max is being built on top of the Wicked Engine in a modern rendering environment. So you're going to get more cross-platform support. You're going to probably get better performance, more graphical fidelity. And they're also using the new, uh, or well, not new, but they're using the Photon Networking Library. Uh, new Lua system and so on. So there is a new version coming soon. This thing's going to have support for VR, uh, better asset loading, uh, easier approach for non-coders, and so on. So there you go. They've got Game Guru Max coming shortly. So their previous version, their original Game Guru for a very limited time, that is uh, another day, uh, is completely free. So hopefully you got this video in time if you are interested in Game Guru. Um, if you didn't, I apologize. It's a long weekend. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention, to be honest. So uh, again, we're testing the uh, expression better late than never. Hopefully uh, I wasn't too late if this was something you were interested in. But again, it was on a free weekend in the past, so I imagine it will probably be again in the future. Also, this thing is on sale in various different forms all the time. So if what you saw looked really Really interesting. You'll probably wait a few days, weeks, or months and get a really good deal with all kinds of stuff packed into it as well. Or probably as the Game Guru Max full release date approaches, there'll probably be another, you know, promotion or something coming soon. So if you miss this one, don't feel too bad because I imagine uh, you'll have another.
another opportunity at some point in time. But anyways, Game Guru, a very specific game engine to make things easy. Not, you know, again, you're not going to be making AAA titles with this one, but even if you don't have any game programming experience, you can jump in with this one, take one of their packs and start from there. And then as you kind of grow in experience, you can start doing your own scripting, bringing in your own models, etc. So it is a nice, I don't know, I'll call it a gateway drug to game development. So that is Game Guru. Have you checked it out? Will you be checking it out? Let me know. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.